Hello everyone, so today we will check our scene and proceed with our spaceship and we will try to import our newly created robot awesome so let's try to group the lights GP lights in order to make some space in our in our outline Okay, so I will isolate the our robot and uh, let's select the group. As you can see our pivot point in a uh, uh, not pleasant, uh, let's say, location. We need to change it. If you will select, for example, leg or a part, remember you need to select the group. If you selected only one part, press up key or a arrow up and it will select all group okay so press D X as a shortcut and snap it to the center of the grid and with a D key W or any our key uh, I mean uh, pivoting key you can close close the pivot uh, editing great so what we'll do next now we will go back to the proper view. We will exit the isolation. So we will go to the R, I mean scale tool, and we will shrink it down. And it's a little bit annoying. Okay. Let's shrink it down and try to pivot it in our cockpit. Awesome. Let's. Bring it, it up and it will be levitating for a second. Okay, so our antenna is too big for, for this scenario. We'll try to shrink it down a bit. Super awesome, just checking with a uh, glass if it's uh, fitting properly. Awesome, everything is cool. So I'll remove that glass for this time being because I want to assign the materials so we can go back to the isolation. For, for our, um, um, let's say, robot, and we can check and evaluate if we can apply the materi materials. Great, so let's open the hypershade, I'll create the, um, clear the node editor, I'll delete the not used materials in our hypergraph. Great, so let's create one, two. Uh, I want to have two metal materials, uh, one lighter, one darker, one glass material. So it's a three materials, and maybe the eye. Okay, so probably from three to four materials. Let's create a four materials in, just in case. Okay, I will select all the legs. I'll select the body and probably antenna. Great. And I will assign material and rename it as a, a Robo Light. Okay. Robo Dark. Dark. Okay, so it will be a lens. And you know what? The, the, there's a problem. I, I, I need to separate the glass material from, from the body, which is carrying that lens, and they are merged together. So I will I'll just select the, this part. I'll press Shift and uh, dot key. I will uh, go to, uh, to uh, Unsmoothed mode. Okay, so we will extract this lens, let's say. Okay, I will do the same exact thing for this small lens. So I will press one just to go from smoothed mode, press tab and select the, uh, let's say, loops. 
or just paint faces which you want to uh, select and I will press ex extract button. Great, so I will merge these two lenses. Center the pivot, clear the history, freeze transformation. Great. For these objects, I will clear the history as well. I will probably uh, close the hyper sheet this moment. And uh, one more thing I want to create, I will duplicate this lens item. And uh, you know, probably I did mistake when I was uh, combining them, but oh well, I will select one faces. I will go to the scale tool and tr just try to flatten the surface. Awesome. How we can do in another way the same function? As you can see, I've selected. Some faces, yeah, I'll flatten like that and just snap it to the vertices. Same thing as you can see. Okay, so let's select the faces, move them a bit closer to the, or say, we'll move them more inside of that object. Okay. Like that, shrink it down. Awesome. Let's do the same thing for this bigger one. Scale it a bit. Not too much, but just cover some area. Awesome. So, what we can do again, open the hyper shade and let's assign dark material to the lens holder spiral or a neck and this ball joints great so where's the oh robo dark okie dokie so we have this robo dark material just double click it and to the dark side awesome so what we will do next, we will assign different material, it will be a robo uh, I okay. So let's select that part, right click, B on I. Probably right now it will mark it as a red or something like that. Okay. And the rest, okay. Just select that node, assign the material, and I will rename it as a lens glass. Probably that will be correct in this situation. Okie dokie. So let's start making materials. So for a robo lights, let's Robo light. Let's enable roughness. I will push reflection color to the white. Awesome. Uh, amount reflection roughness. So metal, so we can uh, go to 0.3 for example right now. Maybe we'll go even uh, more, maybe 0.4. We'll see. Okay. So we have some kind of reflections going on, on our surface on the robo light. Let's select all objects which has this material and I don't know why, but oh, okay, maybe you know, we can see some shininess. Awesome. Okay, so let's go to the dark material, do the same thing. Let's enable the roughness. I forgot to enable metalness for a uh, roughness of oh, 0.3 so i forgot to enable the metalness or let's say not enable just to throw it in the metallic values because metallic values is a boolean it's a zero or one don't do like 0.5 it's a metal it cannot be half metal definitely 
if we will check from artistic side it will be a different story but right now just try to understand that it's a metal or not metal in our case this small our friend is metallic great so let's select the glass material and make the glass okay let's do reflections white let's refractions white ior16 okay and remember uh, the same thing as the previous glass we will have some kind of uh, let's say distortion because ior I don't know, I probably showed you before, it's uh, doing weird things and doing distortion, we'll talk a little bit later probably, in case you will need it, so it's basically acting as a real glass, so, okay, let's select our robo eye, and for that one, I want to do something different. Let's create a node editor. I will select that red eye material. Just click these two arrows in order to bring our material in here in the node editor. Okay, so I will press the tab key and type it uh, ramp. Awesome. We don't need projection, we don't need a uh, second 2D. Okay, we need to detection. We don't need this too. I need projection in this scenario. So, what I will do, as you can see, we have a ramp node. Previously, we just assigned materials, but we can change some things. And as you can see right now, our red color is a, it's a flat red color and they want to have some kind like a dot or something like that definitely we can just select let's say this is uh this faces yeah and assign it uh, some kind of material let's say yeah and it can be as an eye just an example yeah but in our case i want to have ability to uh, let's say shrink up and shrink down the eyeball and the eyeball just be some red dot nothing fancy great so how we can do that so i will select this material under the color i will select the ramp oops uh, select the ramp with a middle mouse button so select the robo eye you here can see the diffuse color with a middle mouse click select this ramp and drag it to a diffuse color. Awesome. So right now we can select the ramp. We can select cir circular ramp. We will increase the eye. Can use a smooth. And the problem is right now we cannot see anything and maybe the problem is that we don't have a proper uv set so let's open oops uv editor and let's check it. what do we have and to be honest we don't have uvs what we can do okay so oops Let's select this object under X axis. Let's try to project. If you don't know how to use UV tools, you can go to the one of our previous tutorials. And in there, I was talking about the, all of these tools. So right now I will use planner mapping under X, uh, under Z direction, as you can see. Let's select z-axis and press apply awesome okay 
let's open again UV editor select the object don't forget to select the object we have these two objects awesome so I will press shift right click normalize okay let's unfold it let's go to the layout layout awesome I will try to snap it into the center same key a hot key is applied to the The same hotkey is applied to the UV shelf editor as well. Okay, so let's try to check it out. Check that out. And we still cannot see. Yeah, luck. yeah and now after that lag, can see that we have something awesome. So we can close now that camera lens. Awesome. So we back to the translation zero in the previous location. And let's try to do a basic render. What do we have? Oh. Great. We're starting getting something. Okay, so probably I will try to do it like that. I will open note editor just in case. And uh, right now I want to Tweak some values, let's say. Let's go to the robot light material, first of all. And let's play with the values a bit. Let's go to the colors. I'll add some colors to our metallic print. Great. Okay, so let's select the dark color. Let's do the same thing. That maybe. Ooh, a little bit too heavy, but oh well, let's let's try it. So. To be honest, I don't like the reflections, but in general, Something wrong. Okay, I will go back to the same reflection amount. Let's check what we can do more with that colors. We will play with a wheel. Let's move to that one. A bit more reddish. Again, it's up to your flavor. Okay, so the first color doesn't matter, we can just press it like that. Okay, we have something here. I don't like the color, so I'll play a bit.
maybe something like that but with an eyeball definitely no okay so what we can do we will select the eyeball and let's try to play with that eyeball i will select the eyeball and under our node editor i will just press this double arrow in order to get proper view and uh yeah i will select again the last material and uh, zero out uh, translation and yeah let's let's start checking what we can do with our eye okay something like that yeah okay so what we have in here we have uh, um, UV material. Okay, let's go to a UV material. Robo I RAM. We can just like that. We can change the color of the RAM as you can see. But maybe I don't want to confuse it too much. Okay, I will open a hyper shade again. And uh, this is our shader which you can see on the eye. I mean the material. This is a whole material, yeah. And this is the ramp of material. So don't forget that we can change when we select the ramp, we can change the ramp color. So I'll select that dark one and let's press red. And as you can see, right now we have a red color assigned. Let's select the white one and uh, select the dark color let's play like that a bit okay what do you think i think it's cool <laughs> yeah something like that okay so we have and robo eye and definitely it's looking very angry so if you want you can change your color you know how to do that and probably i will change to something purple okay something like that awesome okay so now left to be done select that cockpit and uh, zero it out awesome oh, I forgot. so i will select the robo parts which should be smoothed i will press that free on keyboard just in order to smooth areas which i want Okay, that one should be smooth too. Smooth. The glass should be smooth. And the eye probably too. Select eye, smooth it too. Select the glass, bring back, and the translation axis. Awesome. So, as you can see, easy like that can achieve something and uh let check our scene so our top light is visible so that's control a go to the properties let's hide from the options let's make it invisible this light will be working operational but not visible in the render as a source great so Let's select the sideline because I don't like right now this uh, this reflection. It's uh, too much covering our robot. So we'll try just to uh, maybe reduce it a bit before. Free. Hmm. 
maybe something like that it will be it will work no, let's check that you too three okay so let me know what you're thinking about that i hope that you enjoyed the tutorial so stay tuned and have a nice day see ya